Hey there guys, how's it going? Dexstar here, and today I'm going to teach you a heavy metal FILL! Rock and roll! By the way, for those of you guys that stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a little phrase I want you to stick in the comments, and that will just let me know who has stuck around till the end of this video. Anyway, we're going to play right left on the snare drum, and then we're going to play two bass drums, okay? And for the heavy metal kind of genre, a lot of these guys use double bass pedals or two bass drums. Now, I'm going to show you a way of doing it with one foot, but for now I'm going to play two, uh, two, I've got two pedals down here, one with my right foot playing the bass drum, and one with the left foot playing the bass drum. And again, you don't need that to play this fill, I'll show you a little kind of turnaround, but commonly done with two pedals on the bass drum. So we're going to go right, left on the snare with the hands, and then right, left with our two pedals on the bass drum. So right, left, kick, kick, and we're going to do that four times. So one, two, three, four, and that's it. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that there is what we call quads in the kind of heavy metal genre. So just because we're playing kind of each limb, right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot, right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot, quads. And they can be tricky to kind of time between the hands and the feet. So it does take a little bit of time to try and build up that pattern speed, because what will happen is usually this kind of and your limbs will kind of fire off at different times. This is four-way coordination, but it's a linear fill, so only one thing happening at a time. So make sure you're spending time slowly working it up and getting that pattern into your kind of subconscious so it just starts to happen automatically, and that comes just through correct repetition, making sure it's correct, and just keep it going. How you want it to sound when you've got it fast, you need to practice when you're doing it slow. So if you want it loud when you're playing it quicker, you need to practice it loud. And then when you do get it quicker, You'll have the volume. So that's the phrase, but the tricky thing with these quads is finishing it. Because we get to the end and we've got two kicks, right, left, and then at the start of a groove, we're going to have, uh, we're going to do this, we're going to play bass drum and a crash. Right hand's going to play the crash there, but you can see in the notation, you've got just about here, there we go, you've got three bass drums in a row, meaning we've got to play right, left, right. So rather than just playing right, left, we've got to play a group of three on the double kick. And that can be kind of tricky. So practicing that right, left, right is the only way to kind of exit this kind of smoothly. So when you get to that fourth time around the quads, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, kick. Three kicks in a row. And then after we've done that, we're going to go over to the ride, play a ride on its own, then hands together, snare drum and ride, and then another ride. And that's just basically a way of practicing getting out into a groove. see that group of three there, kind of tricky on the kick. And the way I'm doing it, I'm doing a right foot, but try and practice just two right foots on its own. So right, right, get two notes, and then try and squeeze a little left in between. So like this, so going right, right, and try and put the left in between. And try and practice that with the feet which is tricky and takes some time. So that's the phrase. Now, I said if you guys um, only have a single bass drum pedal, you can still pull this off just with a slight turnaround. The tricky thing with this and the advantage of the double kick for this is that group of three at the end, because playing that with one foot, I can't do it. It's very hard, so, <laughs> basically. Um, but what we can do is a little turnaround you can do. Rather than do four groups of quads, just play three. So going snare, snare, and then play right foot playing two notes just play three and then play a big flam both sticks together on the snare so one two three flam and then there's a little bit of space which allows you to get in position ready to carry on the groove so rather than doing four quads you just do three one two three flam groove and that's all with one foot and then if you're doing the double kick you do the four quads but you just got that little turn around with the double kick Got to play that group of three in there. So anyway, that's the phrase. I hope you enjoy it. Really cool to use in heavy metal music. And if you want to get more into these kind of linear things, we've got a whole load of courses on it. But again, it's just using one limb at a time. And allows you to create some really dense, massive patterns, which are pretty good fun. And again, don't need a double kick to be able to play all this kind of stuff. There's a load of those kind of fills you can do with one foot. You just need to practice getting that double speed just with one just with one bass drum so anyway right then for you guys that stuck around to the end well done some people just kind of oh, this is a cool video and drop off halfway through but um you know if you stuck around again really appreciate you checking out this video and the passcode is going to be the thing i want you to put in the comments just to let me know that you've watched all the way to the end is i want you to write drummers are cooler than ice cream which they are
Not in a cold sense, unless you live somewhere cold. But drummers are cooler than ice cream. So stick that in the comments. And uh, yeah, it's going to freak out my wife as well because she'll get all the comments saying, like, why, why are so many people putting the same thing? And I'm like, <laughs> got you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Please subscribe if you're new. Check out the channel membership stuff and have a wonderful week.